Oh, hello. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. Um, anyways, uh, what's up guys? Braden A, B-A-S, whatever you want to call me, I don't care. So, you're probably like, what the hell are you doing right now? Well, <laughs> here I, um, I'm going to be doing a reaction video. I don't really, I don't even think I've ever even done a reaction video before. But, um, this might be a new series or whatever. It's called Reacting to These uh, Stupid-Ass um, Fake Stories. Um, so, a lot of you are probably unaware of this channel nowadays. It's called 7 Second Riddles. Um, and as you can look at their videos, which, by the way, I have tried to do this before, and they block my video worldwide. So, let's hope if I add a face cam, they're, they're hopefully there will be like, okay... Cause they probably just thought I was blatantly like ripping off the video because I didn't have a face cam before when I did my other reaction. So uh, let's hope that don't happen again. But if you look at their videos though, look at this. <laughs> 160 views. Well, that's, that was 22 minutes ago. They literally posted 22 minutes ago as I'm recording this. But they have a video 2.3K, 5.6, 2.9. Like, bro, if we just keep scrolling down, look at this, y'all. They're not pulling the views like they used to. Like, look at this. They they ain't pulling views anymore. Like, what? Like, bro, this channel is just dead as hell. But that, it does have 4 million subscribers. And by the way, I'm also doing this on KingPickCraft. Um, that's why it says I have YouTube Premium, because I don't actually have YouTube Premium. Well, I should have YouTube Premium, but I don't. Um, I am doing this video on KingPickCraft. As you can see, the logo... Right next to me, right there. Um, which, go subscribe to it, by the way. Uh, I would have signed in on my actual account, but I don't care. Um, so, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, anyways. Um, here we go. So, it, 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 I don't know if y'all know this, but they do have horror stories. So, this is something we're going to look into right now. Um, so yeah, damn. Okay, 36 videos. Look at all this, bro. This, okay. I'm kind of curious. We're gonna kind of, I'm gonna kind of rank these on a scale of how, um, how scary they are. And yeah, by the way, you know, thumbs up. I might make this a new series. Okay, here we go. So... We'll just, let's just jump straight into this, and it's luckily since I am on King of Craft, I have the YouTube Premium, so we don't have to worry about ads or anything like that. So, uh, first video, sound on. What happened when I was playing an online game? I hope y'all can hear this. Okay, let's just go ahead and see what the heck happens. Um, it's it's probably hard to find a person who doesn't know what Fortnite is. I had known a Fortnite for a couple of years. Yeah, but. <laughs> But this is made in 2018. That's when Fortnite was popular. I, I don't know. It's it's 2023 now. I mean, I can't really speak much because we did do a cookie place Fortnite. But listen, Fortnite is kind of dead. But I I still kind of I mean I used to really hate it because it's so popular. But since that you know hype has dialed down, like back in 2018, 2019, maybe 2020, I hated Fortnite, bro. I just I didn't like it. But I've been kind of getting into it. I just saw people mentioning it here and there. For some reason, I never actually played it until my best friend sort of forced me to set it up on my computer and play with them. They insisted on playing in squads, which is what you call playing in groups of four people. My friends were Max, yeah. John, and Dan. Max was Max, John, actually Dan. the best player among us. He spent hours and hours. Did you just say among us? Okay, okay, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I, I don't make those cringy references. Hours playing Fortnite. He knew the game inside out and was basically the one who started this squad match. His parents were away for a week. This guy is look. Why do these? Okay, this is kind of. I don't know if they were intentionally doing this or not, but this is kind of creepy. Look at this. They have no pupils in their eye. Their nose is barely there. And they don't even have a freaking mouth. How? That's the creepiest thing about this. What are you talking about? What happened when I was playing an online game? Bro, look at this. Look. This boy don't even have a freaking mouth. 
Right, so Todd, right. who was staying with him, didn't mind him playing Fortnite. John was the second. Why would you care if somebody's playing Fortnite? Recently, but was a smart kid who is just good at everything. Nerd. He does. I'm just kidding, bro. Literally, look at me, bro. I look like fucking Harry Potter. At least, not. It's not like fucking five goddamn people told me that already. Jesus Christ. Okay. Then there was Dan. He was silent most of the time and spoke Same. only when he had problems and needed some help. That's basically me in any friend group in a nutshell. Like, bro, this guy. I like this guy already. This guy. I, wait, what was his name again? I forgot. Was a smart kid who is just good at everything he does. Then there was Dan. Dan, bro. Dan the man. Dan the man. He's he the smartest the time, man. Spoke only when he had problems and needed some help. Same. I think his parents weren't very happy about him playing Fortnite, so he had to be cautious and make sure they don't hear him playing. His parents are probably like those one type of parents. Whenever like if you make a video with him and start a YouTube channel with them, they'll be like, "Uh uh, you can't make videos anymore. You're not friends with him anymore." That may not be a reference to another YouTube channel I have. Beep. Max, John, and I were just goofing around, making jokes, encouraging each other, and just talking about nothing the whole time. You know how it goes. Yeah. It was my first time playing Fortnite. Max and John did their best to help me understand over the headset. Bro, I remember the first time I played Fortnite. I think I got like four kills in one match. I, I felt like the greatest of all time. How to play. In an hour and a half, I started... Well, well that is until I died. It to make some progress. I was getting more and more excited, finally seeing why people were so into Fortnite. At some uh -huh. point, I realized that Max, our best player, was silent for a minute or so. From the start, he was the one who was leaving. Okay, I'm just... I'm not even the one to speak on this, but look at you. Look look at these freaking... Hold on. Wait, can I zoom? I can't even zoom in. Uh, well, look at these defaults right now. Look at these defaults. We got... I forgot what his name was. Big Booty Judy right here. And Big Booty Judy too. Fucking default. I can't speak too much on that though. But I do have an 8-ball skin. It's my iconic Fortnite skin. So don't even say anything. I, I'm out of this picture. One point to another, but so, now, default! He stopped dead in his tracks. His character just stood still. Max, what are you doing? Move, John said, sounding annoyed. But his Man. character continued to stand still in one place. Even if there wasn't anything going on, if you're annoyed by that, like, I, I can understand why it would be kind of annoying. But you never know. You never know what this kid be going through these days, bruh. I think some people really need to fucking learn that. Max hadn't replied, but his mic was on, and I could definitely hear some background noise coming from his end. Excuse me. Me and Dan were all housekeeping. Max to move, or we Yo, was that housekeeping? 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 Just ditch him if he had decided to take a break and watch a movie or something. I Bro, that's something I would do. And right when I was about fuck to these people. Do that. All my friends are fake, anyways, except for that. Except for one of them friends. His name starts with an L. The other one starts with an O. G. And he gets the rest. Okay, he's the only. He's the goat. He's. The Dreadful, almost painful, loud scream came from Max's mic. <laughs> what the goofy ass scream, bro? Whoa! Wait. Almost painful, loud scream came from Max's mic. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. This goofy ass scream. Y'all need to hear this. Is funny, goofy ass scream, <laughs> bro. What, dude? Also, I'm gonna turn captions on. I don't know. I'm just gonna turn them on. I feel like that's something I should probably have done. All right, let's continue. It didn't that sound like he was scream. screaming into the mic or anything. It seemed like he was somewhere in the room, a couple of meters away. I was horrified. Too scared to say anything and waiting for Max to. Okay, this, this guy looks like he literally just got a stick shoved up his a hole. I'm, I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. Tell me what 
tell us what a fun prank he'd played on us. A couple of seconds later, we heard a door slam shut. When I heard the door, I told the others I would call Max right away and turned off my console. Worried sick and with shaking hands, I dialed Max five times, but he never... No cling, yeah, friend. ...for picked up. I left messages telling him if he was trying to fool us, I would never talk to him ever again. Bruh. 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 That's all I say. Ten minutes passed with no response. So I decided to take my parents' car and drive to his house, which was only ten minutes away. I told Wait, him, hold on a minute. How old is this guy? Because if this was me, I wouldn't be able to do anything in this situation. So even if my friend was in harm, I couldn't do anything because I can't drive. If I were to drive, that wouldn't end well. I can't even trust myself with a fork. I can't even... Bruh. You know what? I'm gonna admit to this. I can't even tie my own damn shoe. Shut up. Told my mom. Shut the fuck up. I know you're fucking right. Shut up. Um, I had to pick up a school project from Max and would be back soon. When I got to but seriously though, how old is this kid? Because look. Mom, I had look at to this. Pick up a school look. Project look at the car. And would be he is driving in a city. Hey, that's probably a highway. How do you do that? And you said you told your mom I had to pick up a school project from Max. Uh, really? You, if you're if this boy is still in school, how are you driving this freaking minivan in a freaking city to your friend's house? That's that's far away. That don't even make sense, dude. What? Your parents built way too many trust in you. I'm just saying. Would be back soon. When I got to his house, there were no cars in the driveway, but the front door was wide open. The lights were on in the house. I parked and ran into the house, shouting Max's name and searching for him. Why would you do that? You're stupid. Like, bro, he even said it right there. Stupid of me. What if something terrible had happened and the responsible person was... Also, I'm just gonna... Hold on, wait a minute. Dude. Why is there a block of cheese on your couch? Do you do y'all see this? The house. At the time, I didn't Look, think about it. there is a block of cheese on his couch, bro. Get that out of here, dude. That stuff's gonna mold. I was just worried sick for Max. Suddenly, out of that, it's a freaking. I don't even know. Like, cheese it or something. But not cheese it don't look that goofy. I heard Max screaming back from somewhere upstairs. But start with the goofy screams. Dude, if you're going to have a screaming sound effect, make it more scary, bruh. This is trying to be a horror thing, right? It's trying to be like a horror. Why did I say horror? Horror. 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 Okay, what? what? Fuck you. Anyways, look at this. I made something totally new for you. A true horror story that happened in the United States when four teens are playing on the game. This is based on a true story and it showed my... Is it? This is not... Is this really true? Is this true? Hold on a minute. I, I just... I, I'm curious now. I'm a little curious. Hold on a minute. Y'all about to see what I'm about to do. I made something totally new for you. It's based on a true story and it chills my butt. I'm gonna Google this because I'm a little... uh what? The frick is this? Stay alive. Is this based on this video? Yep, they definitely based it off that. That is what they based it off of, bruh. I'm just kidding. I don't even know. This is probably fake, and I'm doing this for no reason, but... Okay, whatever. Alright, that is definitely a fake... Ass story, bro. I'm just saying, this is fake. It's fake as fuck. I followed his voice and found him in the bedroom, hiding in the wardrobe. The he wardrobe. I refused and told him to get out it's and told me exactly scenario, what right? happened. This goofy narrative. He whispered that there was someone in his bedroom. I joined him in the wardrobe and told bro, him. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, the fuck? 
<laughs> See, look at their floating heads, bro. Look at this fucking goofy ass motherfucker. <laughs> the bottom guy and the top guy. They're like fucking dominating each other. This damn roar drum, bro. That I searched the house and there was nobody. Hey, besides the room was this open. shit has put me to sleep. Somebody, they had fled in a hurry. It took them a while to calm down and finally tell me the whole story in detail. I'm just saying, I hope I don't get he blocked said that for this. When he was playing Fortnite with us, he suddenly heard a tiny tap. There's something under your bed. He went to look underneath the bed, only to find a grown woman. <gasps> It's Momo! Momo! <laughs> but wait, hold on a minute. Wait, you guys remember Momo, right? Hold on, y'all remember Momo, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I'm curious now. I'm curious now. I need to, I need to show y'all this. I need to show y'all this. Y'all remember Momo, right? This, this girl right here. This girl right here. Y'all remember this girl? Well, look. Really? You just totally ripped it off of Momo. Like, bro. It's literally fucking Momo. I'm not even making this up, bro. Jesus Christ. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Except, except, seven second riddles can't even me. take the time to draw pupils. But then they'll sit here and copy Momo. Okay. That's when he threw his headset on what? the bed and screamed while backing into the corner. Okay. That is terrible animation, bro. If that happened, dude, you're, it looks like your headphones are literally about to fall off the freaking bed. What the f- And why is it still connected to the computer? How long is your headphone wires? Jesus Christ! And stop with the goofy screams! Jesus Christ, dude. The woman emerged from under his bed, holding a kitchen knife in her hand. Max was paralyzed. Smash. Wait, wait. Wait, right, wrong, wrong, wrong series, wrong series, wrong series, wrong series, wrong series. Also, that was a joke, by the way. That was a joke. I just in fear in the corner. Also, what the? F Is this girl Medusa? Why does she have snakes on her head, bro? Put her finger to her mouth. That greasy ass, ass hair. Go fucking quiet. take a damn and shower, bro. Jesus, you're the about to fucking pick your goddamn nose, bro. What the? I'm terrified okay. for my friend, and at that point, for myself as well. Also, why is captions back off? I didn't do that. Nah, I didn't do that. I did not do that. <laughs> couple of meters away. Wow. What the frick are y'all doing in that wardrobe? Bro, look at his head. Bro, this boy's like, what the? F what are y'all doing in there? Also, also, by the way, this is all jokes. I really hope Seven Second Riddles does not block me worldwide for this. <laughs> they better not block this video, bro. This is some good stuff. Phone scared out of our minds. When the police came, we had no idea what to expect. Besides, we didn't know where Max's aunt, who was supposed to be in the house, had disappeared to. Two cops showed up. One of them went inside the house to check around, while the okay. other stayed with us and wrote everything we said into a small pocket notebook. Suddenly, while we were talking to the officer, a car pulled up to the house, and Max's aunt got out. Uh, uh, what? Do, uh, am I the only one who is noticing this? Look at her. Look at how she looks. Alright. Look at Max's aunt. And then look. They're kind of identical, bro. And this this looks like a mask. Let's be, I'll be honest. This is a freaking mask. This is a mask, bro. And then she probably, that whole story about going to the store, getting ice cream. Who the f who just goes randomly to the store to get ice cream at like two in the morning, bruh? That's something me. That's something I would do. That, like, Turned out, she went to. The I don't know what I was getting with that, but I'm just saying they kind of look awfully familiar. That's just the animation. Stop to buy some ice cream. 
After the police left, I went back home and checked every corner of my room just in case. Bro, you're fine. That night, and a couple you're literally after, fine. I slept with a it was on. literally his aunt. The police never found that woman. We still play Fortnite together because it's just impossible not to. Max is still the best, and I'm close to being the second best. Yeah, that's that's cool and all, but like literally, you literally have no eyes anymore, bro. And how are you sleeping in this bright ass room? Look at this shit. Okay. I feel much better, and have slept with the lights off for several weeks now. That's what you should be doing. That's the mistake I made. What? Hold up! Hold on a minute. That's that is definitely Max's aunt. It was Max's aunt, dude. I'm not freaking stupid. See, the point I made with that, that is true, bro. And also, this is, like, probably the least intimidating jump scare, like, ever. Ah! Oh my god, he got me. Shut the fuck up, bro. Okay, now we're gonna react to this next one. And this will, we'll call it a day after this one. We're, we're gonna keep reacting to two videos every, every episode of this series. So, I hope y'all like it. Anyways. Next video, what happened when we stopped to help? Let's do it. Let's let's go ahead and play this, John. All my friends in college find it funny that I can't stand coffee, even the smell of it. I never go to coffee shops or cafes where coffee is served. I avoid any coffee-related smell and make sure that none of my friends drink coffee when I'm around. It's Captain Don. My high school friends... Not gonna lie, though, that is kind of fair. Like, coffee is just... Not it, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Coffee is not it. Maybe I am just sleeping on it, but coffee's not it. Remember how I would freeze up whenever coffee in general is just kind of gross. Like I don't, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I just haven't tried it yet. So maybe who knows? I'm that might change later in my life. But I'm just saying, I'm not the biggest fan of coffee. It, it kind of is a little. It's a little gross. Whenever I accidentally came in contact with the smell of coffee. At least now, I don't get so paralyzed. It took Oh, okay, so now they want to draw mouths. But they won't draw eyes. But what the frick? But they're... They're not drawing eyes, but they're going to draw a mouth, bro? What the type of logic is that? I mean, I know 7 Second Riddles was a dead channel, but oh my. Oh, this is stupid, dude. I'm hearing voices. Okay, anyways. It took me a year of therapy to overcome that total body panic. My college friends think I have some sort of allergy. Also, it's freaking disgusting, bro. Coffee is, is not blood. Bro. Coffee has something to do with a psychological trauma caused by my father and his mysterious disappearance. One random Sunday during my senior year, my mother was hospitalized for food poisoning. No. Nothing serious, but she had to spend a couple of days there. Me and my dad this is still 2018. stayed at the hospital till late, and once we were sure she was okay, we drove home. I don't really like hospitals, but I wasn't worried yeah, for same. my mom at all. They, they, they're, they're traumatizing. Not gonna go into that. We were living in a suburb, and the nearest hospital was 30 minutes away. It was raining, and we were driving on an empty highway. Not gonna lie! Listening to the radio, and talking about my future college life. Not gonna lie, though. That, that is a vibe. That is a vibe. It's just raining. You're just driving on this empty-ass road. Um, you know, listening to music, talking about college. Like, this is a vibe. I'm already kind of, I think, oh, shit, bro, I forgot to, I forgot to rank that last story on a scariness scale. That wasn't scary at all. It literally was just his aunt coming in. That was, that was the least scary story I have ever heard. I'm going to give that a 2 out of 10 on the scariness scale. Anyways, I forgot to totally, I, I totally forgot to rank that story on a scariness scale. I need to, I need to keep remembering that. Right, anyways. At some point. I noticed a person a couple of miles ahead standing in front of a car with the emergency lights on. He didn't have an umbrella, just standing next to the car, signaling us for help. This, okay, hold on a minute. 
this Jared from Subway looking at a dude with gloves on in the rain. Who do the? F- I don't think I've ever seen that before. Who wear gloves in the rain? And why? Oh, hold on a minute. guy's got poop on his legs all right i'm kidding of course he didn't have an umbrella just standing there also it's illegal to not have a license plate i hope you know that the car signaling us for help no bro if this jared from subway looking guy is trying to get inside my car i would just drive off it's not no don't do it it's a sketchy person i'm willing to bet this is a sketchy ass story we stopped but I'm just saying, though, that, that first story was freaking awful on the scariness go. That was not scary whatsoever, dude. It's probably one of the lamest hey, stories. Hey, what happened? Asked my dad. I have no idea. It just doesn't want to I have st- no idea. Art, and there's a smell of gasoline. So I figure I'd rather call the service and have them look into it. But the earliest they can make it here is in two hours, and I just don't feel comfortable waiting on the highway inside the car with all that gasoline smell, you know? If you could give me a lift to the... Not even gonna lie with you, I know this sounds kind of weird, but I actually kind of do like the smell of gasoline. Is that bad? Is that bad? Is, is that bad? Like, I think that might actually be bad. There's Denny's. I'd really appreciate it, said the guy. This well, guy likes Denny's, bruh? Does anybody like Denny's? I don't know. I was, I was thinking about roasting him, but then again, I don't know. After round 30. Oh, sure, there's one four miles up, replied my dad. Robert was the guy's name, but he preferred to be called Rob. When Rob. he got into the car, he had this... Yeah, Robert, that's a sketchy-ass name. That is a sketchy-ass name. Strong smell of coffee mixed with paint. I thought it was weird he smelled of coffee and not gasoline. Besides, he was wearing leather gloves. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. If he smelled like... Dude, this guy's capping, dude. This guy's doing this on purpose. I've never seen anybody wearing gloves in the room. I know his name is Robert, but I'm I'm Rob calling him Jared from Subway. <laughs> Look at that, bro. When Rob's phone buzzed, he checked his phone, laughed, and I heard him typing something back. He got super excited after the message. Bruh, he's literally doing this. <laughs> Guess what? They actually went in my fucking car. <laughs> Look at these motherfuckers. These these oblivious motherfuckers. Like, bro. Get him out of your car right now. His name is Robert. And explain that, that is his a best friend name. was coming to see him next week from another state. We were two miles away from Denny's when there was a loud bang. My father struggled with the steering wheel, but eventually the car skidded off the wet road. Okay. Damn. How's that? Like, what? Nobody was injured. Dad and Rob got out of the car to see what happened. My dad came back to tell me we must have driven over something on the road, and both front tires had large punctures. What? Hold on a minute. Dude, if you really think about it, this guy is definitely trapping them. He probably, this robber dude, probably put something in the road to pop his tires and puncture his tires, and he's trapped. This guy is trapped, bro. But you can fix it, right? I asked. Not really. I only have one spare tire. There is no signal, so we can't call anybody. We're not that far from Denny's. Me and Rob will walk there. Just wait a minute. Can't you call the cops without signal? I don't know. Let's sit here, and I'll be back in thirty to forty-five minutes. Don't worry, kid. Everything will be all right. I felt nervous, no. but didn't want to show it. So I sat watching the two figures disappear into the dark. And you said your dad was missing. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. The rain stopped, and an hour later, I saw one figure coming back towards the car. I hoped it was my father. No. He was carrying something in his hand. Yep. Something round, like a bag with a ball in it. Hey, yo. Soon enough, I recognized Rob. I tensed up. I couldn't stop looking at the round thing in his hand. With every Bro, step he made though? toward the car, that round thing 
started to look more and more like a human head. What? Hold on, no, 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 no. There's no way he just axed your father. He just axed your father in the head. He, this was his neck, and this was, he just took, he just went like, popped that head right off. But I uh, wasn't sure. No. My heart raced like crazy. This story is definitely, body froze. this story is definitely scarier than the first one. But I don't know, we we'll have to see where this goes. What's up? I tried to lift my hand to open the door and get out, but I couldn't move at all, and my mind went blank. Yeah, you're dead. I was just sitting and watching Rob come closer. But this boy closer. is literally. Hold on, no, 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 no. This isn't Rob anymore. This is Jeffrey Dahmer, dude. I was just sitting. Also, and why is he just watching look? Rob look at this, Jerry from Salt Lake. Look at him. He's literally just closer. standing in the car doing Moments nothing. Later, okay, there he was at the back something. door of the car. He peered in and looked at me. He smiled, and I saw his mouth had no. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Boy, that, that. <laughs> Where is his mouth? Huh? Where was that at all his life, bruh? He smiled, and I saw his mouth had no teeth at all. He raised his hand with a knife in it. I looked at the knife. It had red paint on it, and something was telling me that. Did you really just say red paint? You're freaking stupid. It was someone's blood. He no! No! It's not like you just st saw a freaking human head. <laughs> no, it's red paint. Bruh. No crap. The knife, smiled again and waved. I felt feverish, sweating like never before. He stood there. Bruh, Mr. Clean went on a murderous rampage and lost all his teeth. Looking at me for what seemed like hours. And I think he clearly lost his hair too, because what the fr what happened to his hair? This guy had hair before. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this guy had hair on the right here on his head. Where is that at? He looks like Caillou now. But then suddenly he laughed out loud, stood up, and started to walk away from the car, still holding something round in his hand. Maybe I was delusional. But I think I saw hair and blood dripping off that round thing. A cut off head. I can't swear Bruh. I saw it, but I think I did. I watched him slowly walk away. Bruh, I... Yeah. Your father's dead. Swinging that round He's thing dead. from side to side. That boy gone. disappearing into the night. I just sat there, paralyzed. I could and probably should have gotten out of the car and run, no. but my body gave up on me completely. So I just sat there, mind blank. Mind I don't blank. know how long I spent in the car like that. Next thing I remember was a police car parking next to ours. The policeman came to the car and looked at me. He opened the door and asked something. I saw his mouth moving, but I couldn't hear a Okay, wait a minute. So if you've had the car unlocked this whole time, that boy Rob literally could have just opened the car and killed you. Right there. Word. By the time they got me out of the car and drove me to the police station, I had finally regained some control over my body. Bit by bit, I managed to tell them the story. They told me that somebody called the police from the phone booth right outside of Denny's, telling them there was a road accident and that a boy was left in the car. What? An unknown caller? Hold on, I don't know. All right. I don't know how that would fit into the story, I don't know. ...told me that somebody called the police from the phone booth right outside of Denny's, telling them there was a road accident and that a boy was left in the car. That somebody gave them the exact location and hung up without revealing his name. I don't know, it could have been like your father, but like he was panicking and Rob was chasing after him about to murder him or something, I don't know. They found my dad's wallet with no other fingerprints 500 meters away from the car. Nothing. Okay, I don't know how much 500 meters is, but like, I don't think that that's that far. 
I don't even think that's a mile, so damn. Thing had been taken. They also found blood traces that disappeared some 200 or 300 meters from the car. The test, however, revealed that the blood wasn't my father's, but belonged to a 30-year-old man who disappeared in another state. About How is this blood still on the road then? That, that, bro, that stuff would have been dried up by now. A year what? ago, they never found Rob's car, nor my dad. The police wanted me to help them draw Rob's portrait. But the weird thing was that I could only remember his toothless smile. Mr. Clean. He had no mouth, but suddenly had a mouth. Uh, Jared from Subway. Basically, if you just look up Jared from Subway on Google, that's that's what Rob looks like. And he clearly had hair loss um, somehow throughout that whole process of murdering his father. Uh, it's, um, smile and the smell of coffee and paint. I couldn't remember if he had hair or not. In one of my memories, he did, but in the other, he was totally bald. Okay, so you're basically talking from the animator's perspective. I, I started to search on the internet about all these disappearances. Turned out that four women and men went missing the same year in neighboring states. They all disappeared during the rain with their cars left on the highway. My dad was the fifth, and I was the first to survive. In all five cases, somebody anonymously... Bro is acting like this is a tragedy. <laughs> ...call from a phone booth informing about the car accident and giving the exact location. Not a single person was found except the blood of that man next to our car. Some speculate that Rob, or whatever his name is, escaped a psychiatric clinic where he was locked up for being a cannibal. Okay, so... Uh, what did I say, bro? I said this man was like Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm not lying. I know. I I know this. There are even pictures it. shared by somebody of a mid 30s looking guy with long black hair. Though he's he like looks a cop, pretty normal. Bro. Some argue that he used to be a cop. Yeah. That's why nobody can catch him. Some go even further, saying that he came from beyond, only appearing during the night when it rains. Anyway, what? So he's basically a night crawler. Basically, okay. For he is. My mom still refuses to give up hope of my father coming back one day. I did. You refuse to give up hope, bro. They, that guy's dead, dude. Did you not tell your mom that you saw his head in a bag? I know. I saw a part of my father, and that part was in Rob's hands. The, what he, is that? What is that? was walking away from the car. Soon after the accident, I discovered that whenever I smelled coffee, my body would automatically freeze. My heart would race like crazy, and I couldn't be Remind capable of doing anything but don't sweating and stuff being on. overwhelmed with this fear of the coffee and paint smell, along with Rob's toothless smile and loud laugh. I don't see smell. him in my nightmares, just the smell of coffee and paint. That literally made no sense. Just the smell. I don't see him in my nightmares, but I see the smell of coffee and paint. How do you see a smell? I'm <laughs> freaking. What the fuck? Hey, guess what, man? I'm having nightmares. And I'm seeing coffee and paint in my nightmares. Like, bro. I'm freaking done, dude. I don't freaking know it. This story makes no sense. Oh my god, dude. How do you see a smell? Okay. That That is it. No, no, stop. Okay, alright. Uh, I'm gonna... F I'm probably gonna rate that probably like... Uh, six and a half out of ten on the scariness scale. It was definitely scarier than the first one, but I feel like it's just not as scary though. But yeah, I'm I'm done with these stories. It's making my brain hurt. Um, literally none of them were scary so far. So I hope next episode of the series this kind of picks back up. And we're gonna actually get some scary ones. Like, look, look at this. Instagram turned my life into a nightmare. What happened when I met her creepy family? 
So, yeah, I feel like I'm hoping this will be scarier next time, so. Yeah, um, anyways, goodbye. Yeah, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight, and all I'm going to think about, and just, I'm just gonna look, and I'm just gonna see the smell of coffee and paint.